Okay, lesson 22 walkthrough. Um, we want to make the giraffe push the monkey off the screen. So there's two ways we can do this. Uh, first way would be to set the velocity x of the giraffe or the monkey to the same velocity x when they are touching. Um, let's first look at the where we need to be checking. We need an if here and we need to know if see what we have for options here is touching so if giraffe is touching monkey we want the monkey's um, velocity x to be equal to whatever the giraffes was which was one um, that's one way to do it Um, the other thing that we could do here, if you didn't want to set it to be um, the number, if you wanted it in case the value changed for the giraffe, you could say set it equal to giraffe velocity x. And that's going to do the same thing. So if I went up here and changed this to a 2, they should still move together because it's setting it to what that 2 is. I'm going to leave this 2 here. I'm going to put it back to the one that it was. And you'll see it's going to look weird. Okay. So that's why you, you would use the um, equal to the exact, um, to the, the variable, the velocity dot x instead of the actual value of it. Okay, I'm going to throw those out so they're not there for the next class. All right. Um, on this one. <coughs> We want to push the hippo off the screen. So we're going to use is touching again. So if elephant is touching hippo, we're going to set, and I'm going to use the hippo velocity x equal, or velocity y rather, equals elephant velocity y okay I'm gonna throw those out for the next class just ignore that I'm doing that um, in five we're gonna start using displace instead um, so if you look here when you run it the hippo pushes the elephant so sometimes the order matters in this one it matters we want the elephant to displace the hippo. Now the elephant's pushing the hippo. Okay, and in six. It wants us to mess with them and see what the different things do. Okay, so this one has parrot dot displace penguin. Let's change that to bounce and see what bounce looks like. Let's say parrot bounce penguin. <laughs> um, let's change that bounce to a bounce off. Now notice the difference there. The parrot bounced off of the penguin. So with bounce, they both bounced in the opposite direction. In this case, the penguin is creating a bounce effect on the parrot. The parrot bounced faster than the penguin. And let's try that collide. Collide creates that a little bit of that push movement, okay? So that penguin is colliding with the parrot. Try it opposite and let's see what happens. Let's say parrot penguin. This time the penguin is pushing the parrot. So those are the different ways that those interact.
Okay, collision types in practice. First one, we have this basketball and it falls all right through the floor. So why don't we make that, I mean, honestly, what it's doing is bouncing off of it. Um, and if you look at the example of what it's doing here, what they want it to do, let's see what bounce does. That's my first inclination is that I'm making something bounce, let's make it bounce. I'm going to do bounce off. Um, I'm going to say basketball bounce off of, what is the name of it, floor or wood, okay. I would have called it floor, but all right. There we go. Bounce. Okay, next one is collision types. We're going to make that arrow stop at the apple. So uh, in this one, I'm going to use a <clears throat> collide, and when it collides, I think I'm going to make it stop. So um, there's no if block here. Wow. All right, let's see how to do this. Apple collide arrow, is that what it's called? And arrow velocity x, we're going to stop that velocity. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, they're not moving yet? Yeah, no, they're not moving yet because why can't I put an F block in here? Hmm. Ooh, let's try displays. No, bounce off, maybe. No, it won't stop, though. Nope. Oh, beautiful, collide. It stopped. That's, wow, okay. I wouldn't have done that, but okay. So we need uh, one cart to push the other. Gray cart is going to push a blue cart. Um, let's try displace. Gray, if I spelt it right, displace blue cart. See how they spell gray. Yeah, all right. Perfect. And finally, <laughs> make this little lady push the luggage. So let's do a displace again, but let's say, is it girl? Kid. Kid displace suitcase. And there she goes. All right, for the assessment, this one's tricky. Well, it's not tricky, there's just a lot. So when giraffe and parrot bang into each other, they both go in the opposite direction think they're bouncing off of each other. So let's say giraffe bounce off. Oh, just bounce, not bounce off. Giraffe bounce parrot. Yes. Let's run it and see what happens. Beautiful. Next one down. The hippo is pushing the elephant. So let's do displace. Hippo, displace elephant. Okay, got that one. Uh, looks like the monkey is displacing the rabbit. What did they call it? Rabbit and monkey. All right. Monkey, displace rabbit. All right, and it looks like the 
A snake is bouncing off of the pig. Let's try that. Bounce off. Snake bounce off pig, not pog, pig. There we go. Perfect. All right, challenges, debug colliders. First one. This one is around to expect them to bounce a certain way. Something weird is happening. Run the code and watch the interaction. All right. Let's do this. Sprite debug. Gold coin debug true. Copy and paste that instead of dragging it out and typing again because I'm lazy. Or smart, you choose. Uh, silver. Um, okay, they're. They have squares instead of circulars, that's a problem. Now it says to set the gold coin starting X position to 51 and run it again. Why are they bouncing strangely? I think they're bouncing strangely because they should have circles around them, not not squares. So let's change how those interact. Let's um, set those sprite colliders from rectangles to circles, first of all. And let's add that set collider here for the silver coin. Don't forget to capitalize your C and set that to a circle. And now run it. Bing! Perfect. Now they're bouncing straight off of each other, which is what we would expect to see. Bounciness. I love this one. It's like one of my favorite blocks. So we're going to run this. We saw it um, in the intro. These two are slowing down because their bounciness is set to a different value. So if you look at the basketball, its bounciness is 0 0.8, and the pool balls is 0 0.4. So by looking at that, I can tell that the lower the bounciness number, the less times it's going to bounce. A soccer ball should be fairly bouncy, but we do need that bounciness to stop eventually. So the soccer ball, first let's set its bounciness. And I'm going to say it's going to be definitely bouncier than a basketball. Maybe the same. Why don't we do the same? It Nope. It wants it to be more bouncy. Let's leave it at 1. We probably wouldn't need to set it then. Let's leave it at 1 and see if it, we can get it to mimic this. Now, if you look at it, it is bouncing off the floor, but its bounciness was not changing. Let's see if that affects it. Oh, that's perfect. It looks exactly like the animation on the right. So eventually, You would think it would stop, but it's not going to. All right, that's it. You can do a free play if you want to, but you do not need to.